Hello YouTube, Mark the Pipe Poet here, and today I'd like to do a video response to TR Puff and stuff. Uh, he, I, I watched his video a minute ago, and he uh, noticed that he had a hefty amount of subscribers on his channel that subscribed to him. And that it, uh, from his video views to his subscribers, it, the math didn't correlate. And the one video that he had the most views on was his contest video. So he asked, uh, each individual pipe smoker why they subscribed to his video in the first place. And I'm going to answer that. One of the reasons might have been either you subscribed to me first when I was first starting out. It's possible. Uh, and if not, then that's not the reason. <laughs> or two, I watched one of your videos. And it's either the way you presented yourself. You might have said something that I agreed with. You might have said said something that I disagreed with. Uh, you might have shared something that I liked. And it clicked. I said, yes. Subscribe. I'm, I'm subscribing to him right now. It doesn't matter. And that's what I did. It's how you presented yourself. You said something uh, that was worth, that it had meaning behind it, and that's why I subscribed. And that is the reason why I subscribe to so many of these pipe smokers in this community. Uh, it's not because of the contests. You will not see me entering in a contest, nor will you see me hosting a contest. It, that's just not my style. It's not me. Quite frankly, in a way, I kind of don't agree with it. I'll give you my reasons, because... It seems every time I go onto YouTube now, within this pipe smoking community, you, I, I see, it seems every second to fourth video contest, 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 contest. Then you have these pipe smokers that have been within this community for a very long time that are trying to share something that has meaning to it. Uh, trying to, you know, say something of value. And they're trying to upload this video and make people watch it. They're being pushed to the side now. And it's all about this contest. And it upsets me. Because in a way, I think... The, the YouTube pipe smoking community is a lot better than that. Uh, yes, I'm aware that, you know, it's a contest, it's pipe related. Uh, you have a chance to win either this Savinelli or this tin of tobacco or I don't know. You know, it's pipe related. That's how you share the love. That's how you grow the community. You do make a valid point with that, but it's getting out of hand. Um, I remember even before these contests started, uh, I would go on YouTube and there would be these pipe smokers with their pipes sitting in a nice chair, the smoke circling their head like a wreath, and they would just share these experiences that they've had, these stories, why this pipe is special to me, uh, you know, these thoughts, these uh, philosophical reckonings, these epiphanies that you're having, and uh, they would share them with you. And how they would share them with you, it almost seemed like they were your personal friend, right then and there. And until the video ended, they had you. And after you got done watching the video, you're like, wow, yes. And we're losing that. 
We're losing the stories. We're losing the philosophy. We're losing the reasoning and logic. We're losing the main reason why we are pipe smokers in the first place. If we solely resign ourselves to contests, then can you imagine what the YouTube pipe smoking community will be like in the next seven months? Maybe even less than that. Maybe even the next four months. If it's going to be nothing but contests, and these YouTubers, these pipe smokers who have something to say are being put to the side. I dread the thought of that. And a lot of YouTube pipe smokers that are cemented within the frameworks of this community, I won't subscribe to them because they host contests frequently. Uh, that's just how I am. I'm sorry, that's just how I am. Uh, I'll be the first one to put my head on the guillotine. I will, I mean, I'm young, I'm new, I have room to grow. And I have room to learn from this community. I will risk myself for that. But I feel we have too many contests going on these days. And we need to get back to basics. We need to actually remember why we did this in the first place. And if we remember, then we need to evolve from that. We need to try a new approach. Uh, there will always be contests, but right now it's ridiculous, the amount that I'm seeing. My YouTube page is flooded with them. So, maybe that's one of the reasons why these big YouTubers are as big as they are. It's because they host contests so frequently. And again, I'm not bashing you if you have joined a contest or if you host it. I'm, I'm not... I'm not saying that. It's just my personal opinion is there's too much of it, and we're losing the real reason why we are uh, a part of this community. So, there I am. I'm waiting for the blade to come down. But, uh, But, other than that, I actually uh, have a poem that I would like to read you today. It's an original poem by Mark the Pipe Poet, and it is titled, In the Bleak Midwinter. So, uh, despite that the sun is shining today, thank, thank the Lord for that, uh, uh, here we go, In the Bleak Midwinter. In the bleak midwinter, bereft of light and hope, Where ice and snow lay a blanket, once were spring and summer eloped. Trees were barren slumber, shrubs and grass, much of the same, Daffodils and lilies wait, like roses and ferns, a vein. Songs of birds have fallen silent, livestock have retired from the field, the absent blossom of the apple tree forces the honey bee to yield. In the bleak midwinter, this icy kingdom reigns, reminding us that not too far spring shall come again. <sighs> We're not too far, ladies and gentlemen, right around the bend. March is coming. It's going to start warming up. We won't see this icy kingdom again for another six months, then. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, smoke and be happy and enjoy yourselves because that's what it's all about.